Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to talk about cryptocurrency news. We're going to look at three different subjects. We're going to look at the $700 million in long liquidations. Oh my gosh, I am so glad I am not doing leverage trading. We're going to look at DeFi in trouble. And finally, cryptocurrency. Is it time to buy, buy, buy? We're going to look into this and we're going to dive into that now. Crypto investing ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. Can we get to 99 likes on this video? Smash that like button. It really helps us out. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. And we're going to talk about cryptocurrency in terms of is this a good time to buy, but hey, it involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for every investor. So do your own research and be very careful when you're trading. So the first subject that we want to look at is Bitcoin's crash triggers over $700 million in liquidations on BitMEX. Now, when you hear the word liquidations, what you want to think of is these are people who have done leverage trading. On BitMEX, you can do, I don't know if it's 100x or 125x. So I'm going to go with 100x. You can take $1,000 and you can buy $100,000 worth of Bitcoin um, by leverage trading. And basically what that means is if Bitcoin, if you do a long leverage trade and you invest $1,000 I mean $1, but you get $100,000 in Bitcoin, if Bitcoin goes up, you're going to get 100 times the profit. On the flip side, if Bitcoin goes down, you could lose 100% of your investment. And what happened here is that on this one exchange, over $700 million of individual investors, individuals meaning people with $1,000 or $100 or $10,000 that they had on the exchange, those accounts got liquidated and it went straight into the pockets of BitMEX. So they made a killing with the price drop this week as cryptocurrency took a steep, steep dive. So this article has a lot more details. We're not going to cover that. I will give you a link to this article in the YouTube description. So just navigate to my YouTube channel and click the link in the description below if you want to get more information about this. Now, DeFi leader MakerDAO weighs emergency shutdown following ETH price drop. Now, this sudden drop in price that we've been experiencing this week uh, today is uh, March 13th, 2020, and we've seen a very large drop in Bitcoin and the entire cryptocurrency market. The entire market is in red right now, um, and we've seen as much as a 45% drop. Bitcoin hit into, dropped into the $4,000 price range, and so the, the bottom line is how that has affected uh, MakerDAO and their algorithms is it's caused a lot of problems and they're considering doing an emergency shutdown just so that they can kind of regain their balance, get a few things fixed because they never, they didn't build their algorithms, they didn't build their smart contracts in a way to handle such a drastic sudden dip in price. All right, so Again, I'm going to put a link to this article if you want to dig into more details about it. But uh, let's get into, is this a good time? Should you buy, buy, buy? Is this a good time to buy cryptocurrency? And I'm going to turn to a YouTube expert, um, and she's going to help me dig into this. Now, the expert we're going to look at is Michelle Fon. She has over 8.91 million subscribers on her YouTube channel, and let's take a look at what she had to say about it. All my friends have been hitting me up asking if they should buy. Yes, buy in the dips. Bitcoin. Now, at the time she posted this tweet, Bitcoin was trading at $5,674 uh, US dollars, and so... Uh, 
it it has dropped even further and then has bounced back. Um, in fact, right now, uh, let's take a look at where we're at at the moment. So at this exact moment, let me refresh the screen. And Yahoo is gathering its data and it's generating its chart. But it looks like at the moment, Bitcoin is selling at $5,500, $5,492.70. Oh, well, it just jumped up to $5,538 and then back down. There's $5,538. So it's kind of bouncing around a little bit as it's going back and forth between those two prices. Anyway, you can see how this week things are, you know, prior to this week, things were bumping along right around $8,000 price level. And then all of a sudden, boom, there was one big drop on uh, Sunday night, Monday morning, and then another big drop yesterday. And we've seen a bit of a recovery. So here's the real question we need to ask ourselves. What has changed that caused all of this, all of this drop over this particular time period is this drop because of bitcoin itself being fundamentally flawed or is this drop because of some sickness that's become a world and global issue it's really been a combination of things because oil prices took a tank uh, on sunday night as well as we have a global sickness issue that people are dealing with now, I'm deliberately avoiding using certain words because YouTube has been banning uh, uh, videos that use those words. So excuse me while I try and avoid using those words uh, on my channel. I don't want to get this video banned just because I said the wrong thing or said the wrong word. But unfortunately, that's the world we live in with YouTube censoring a lot of content. Um, anyway... So this, this drop isn't related because something has fundamentally changed in cryptocurrency. This drop is caused by a world, world and global panic. And um, <clears throat> while I'm kind of being tongue in cheek, I know that Michelle Fawn is more of a beauty and cosmetic expert and she's an expert in fashion and she's really, I, I, I wouldn't consider her an expert in cryptocurrency. But right now, I think she has really good advice. This is my opinion, and I'm going to stick with it, but I think she's right. I think you should buy the dips. Let's dig into it a little bit deeper. So the first thing is, <clears throat> with cryptocurrency, everybody knows that it's volatile and that it has a huge tendency to skyrocket up and to crash way down. In fact, Bitcoin has had times where it loses 80% of its value over and over and over during the years that it's been around. It's been around for 10 years. On the flip side, Bitcoin has also had times where it increased by 10 times its price, by 20 times its price, by 200 times its price. So the real question is, is, is it a good investment? And based on its history, if you took $1,000 and you invested it in Bitcoin and kept it in there for three years and then sold it. In other words, if you bought $1,000 worth of Bitcoin on January 1, 2017, and then sold it just a few months ago on December 31st, 2019, just before the new year, you would have got $7,206. In other words, your $1,000 would have grown by seven times. If you had done that on 2015, it would have grown 43 times. If you did that back in uh, 2012, it would have grown 60 times. And if you did that when uh, uh, during the first year, if you had bought it January 2011 and sold it December 2013, you would have had $2.686 million. So historically, Bitcoin has done tremendously even when it's had losses as severe as 80%. Now, we haven't seen an 80% loss so far in 2020. I don't think we will, but you know what? I've said that about Bitcoin and been wrong. I, uh, in fact, even this week, I, I had an opportunity to... Uh, 
uh, liquidate my Bitcoin and my cryptocurrency assets. My algorithm was instructing me to do so. I was foolish and thought, this is a fear thing. It's going to go away and we're going to recover quickly. And so I chose not, I chose to ignore my algorithm, my scientifically, mathematically accurate uh, attempt to, to try and predict the Bitcoin price. And I thought that because my algorithm can't measure fear, that I could do a better job at it, I was wrong. <laughs> anyway, here's the bottom line. If you, I, here, the bottom line is, is I still am very, very bullish. I think the long-term uh, value of Bitcoin is still built into it. In fact, when you look at the market psychology and the psychology of a market cycle, whenever a, a, a asset, whether it's Bitcoin or oil futures or uh, IBM stock or any other asset, when it gets into this low area, people are very pessimistic. They go into anger. They go into depression. They go into disbelief. They go into panic or denial. Um, and those are all the emotions that people experience when something is at its bottom. In fact, world famous investor Warren Buffett has been quoted saying, we simply attempt to be fearful when others are greedy and to be greedy when others are fearful. Said in another way, when people are fearful, he thinks that the price is near the bottom. And when people are greedy, he thinks the price is near the top. And so he tries to sell when the price is at its peak and he tries to buy when it's at the bottom. And that's why I think, because none of the fundamentals that made Bitcoin a good investment, none of them have changed. Everything that made Bitcoin strong a week ago is still true today. The only thing that's changed is we're in the middle of a global fear. Uh, 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 people all over the world are in a panic of different sorts. And they're doing things with their investments that they would never normally do because they're reacting uh, with this panic, with anger, with depression, uh, with, with the concern of you know, the, the global sickness that's, that's affecting a lot of people. And so, how can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions? Do you have any comments? Do you strongly disagree when Michelle... Fawn put this comment up. If you look at, her, at the comments through this, some people agree with her. Some people think she's nuts. I think she's right on the money. I think she picked a really good time to buy Bitcoin. Um, and this might be, and time will tell, this is not financial advice. This is my opinion. But I think there's a strong potential that this might be the lowest that we ever see Bitcoin go to again. Um, it's, it's got a strong possibility in my opinion. Anyway, do you disagree with me? I'd love to hear from you. Look, you know things I don't know. I know things you don't know. And when we share what we know, we grow smarter together. I want to grow smarter together with you. So please share your polite disagreements in the comment section below. In the meantime, like, subscribe, and hodl. And I hope that you have a fantastic day.